All right, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to our kitchen where we will now in a few moments look how our quark has turned out. We have uh, bought a fresh cheese kit which was cheap because, well, it's close to the expiry date. And we have a mesophilic culture which that's the one you use for quark and you use only very small amounts. If you wonder how you measure the very small amounts, um, they give you these actually fairly good quality little stainless steel measuring spoons and for a liter of quark you need one sixth fourth of a spoon. You get this uh, thermometer because the milk temperature needs to be controlled fairly accurately and you see it's nice and long so you can put that in a big pot with a lot of milk. Well and now we have here a cheesecloth which is I believe just a cotton cloth. I believe some people use just a big dish towel. Uh, we started yesterday what we did is we heated milk to 31 degrees or 30 degrees put the culture in and put that into our camping pot which I show in a second. Here we see our nice new multi-cooker and we thought we use that instead of a colander because uh, there is a little insert for the top for steaming and the plan is just to put the cheesecloth into that and then pretty much pour that then in there and then the, the whey should just drain into the bottom of the pot but you can put a lid on top and nothing can get to it like nosy cats or the like. Okay inside that big pot um, that is our steaming insert for the multi-cooker and we just use that instead of a colander. People would probably in many cases use something like that but we thought we use that, why not? So we thought that actually we put the thermometer one more time in the culture just to see um, what temperature in the end it had. Do you want to put that in the kitchen? So, uh, so it actually is still about 30 degree which means our our thermal cooker has done a good job there. Uh, we have once in the morning poured a little bit more hottish water into it to keep the temperature. Okay, so our multi-cooker, what we have done is just uh, put it on saute, put a bit of water in, that's now nicely boiling, so everything in there should be now disinfected. I mean, I'll just show you one more time here. This is just our empty multi-cooker. And the first thing is the multi-cooker steaming insert. So there it comes. Okay. This is the excitement when you do these things the first time. Okay, so we just now kind of pull it out of the hot water, let it cool a bit. Just film that from the near distance there. So this is just our arrangement here. We just have that steaming insert in that pot. Um, cheesecloth. Need some dripping noises, but you might actually now wait. That seems to just work. And we put the lid on. Okay. Yeah, all right. Um, so our quark is in our draining arrangement there, and apparently it takes between 12 and 24 hours. So we might just leave it um, overnight and see tomorrow morning how it turns out. Well, okay, we found that with the cheesecloth hanging out of the multi cocker, it actually was just dripping all around um, on the workbench and we didn't like that. So I have just now thrown the cheesecloth over the lid. So that should keep that under control. As you see, when you do things the first time, you <laughs> gotta experiment and come up with solutions. All right, and that is... Um, that is a quark about three hours later and 
as we see there from the edges it has gone down a fair bit. Now it's the next morning and we get to spoon our quark into a pot. So that's the result of two liters of milk. And what's the consistency? It's not like Philadelphia. No, it's, it it's more like the good old German quark we yeah. bought years and years ago back in Germany at Aldi and similar <laughs> places. So they say that from a liter you get about 300 grams, so from our two liters we should probably have about 600 grams, but we'll weigh it. Okay, this is officially <laughs> official taste test. <laughs> so how is it? Mm. Is it like quark? It's like quark. Okay, so you can make quark yourself from the what's it called? From this the is, Mad Millie this is amazing. fresh cheese kit. This is amazing. <laughs> Tastes like quark. This is a happy Brigitte. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, the cracker. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 577 grams. Well, close enough to 600. Mm -hmm. That's from two liters of milk. All right. Um, okay, taste test. We will get to decide to have her quark in a bowl with a little bit of sugar. If they don't sell quark in um, in the shops, who cares? We make it ourselves. <laughs> okay, and uh, I thought I might have the quark with just a bit of bread and jam on top. And one of these days we will make tzatziki. So this is our breakfast this morning. That'd be very nice. The New Zealand strawberry Barker's jam, and I'm going to make a nice coffee as well with it. As you see, my beautiful coffee machine over there and the grinder, so it's all going into action. Thanks for watching. Bye.